It has her position paper and she'll respond when she reads it. Okay, thanks, Dad. Any update on the VP search? Why do you ask? Uh, because we don't have one. <laughs> and because Colby's chief of staff lives in my building, bugs me every morning about it. Can't really blame him, I guess. Colby actually thinks he's got a shot at being VP. And you don't? Come on. A woman and a black guy? One or the other, not both. Excuse me, Mr. Gardner. General Allison's here to see you. All right. I'll get out of your hair. Sir? General, what can I do for you? Some material for you on the ERA. Since when are you interested in social policy, General? Equality among the sexes means women assigned to direct combat MOSs. Now, what you've got there are letters from previous chairman of the Joint Chiefs, policy papers, editorials, and they all point to the potentially disastrous nature of something like this on morale and readiness. I can show you just as many papers defending women in combat, and it shouldn't matter. Our job is to carry out the president's agenda. Jim, the president has my utmost respect. She's earned that. But there's a culture in place here. What I'm afraid of is that all the good work she's done would be undone by something like this. The military has got to be governed by a different set of regulations. This is one of the surest ways to break down the morale of the Army and to destroy its efficiency. The New York Times, 1948. Now, racial segregation was complete ignorance. And who's to say we won't look back in 50 years and say the same thing? I'll carry your concerns to the president. Fair enough. That's all I can ask. Thanks very much. Good afternoon.